built this wall but it, it was upside down it didn't quite work and then I built it again and it just fell over so I built it a third time which was good until it spontaneously caught fire which I don't think was what people really intended well it does look like the problems they are repiling but winter is coming to an end and we got plenty of food we have some huts being built and we're very, very close to getting some science done. At last. So, let's see how we get on, see what goes well, and more importantly, see what goes badly. Chris, you're idle. Okay, let's get you some more work. Don't store anything in there. But... Let's get these the rest of these rooms the same. So, Chris. This house had an odd area. Okay, right. Okay, let's do all of that. Do all that. And that row there. Okay, all right, that's allows the this yes, okay, so there we go, that should allow people to get to work. See how everybody's doing. Alright, so a little bit of toxic build up there. Uh, at the moment, nothing worth worrying about. And let's get these rooms built out as well. Cargo pods, nice. Ooh, we'll have all that. And not only will we have all that, Haley. Yeah. How far away is it? Not that far, right, okay. Uh, restrict. Okay, so Haley, you're unrestricted. Shizzy, you're unrestricted. Um, Haley. Paul, Shizzy. Paul. Let's get as much of this in as possible. Ooh. It must have been just as they ran past each other there. Haley Round has accepted Shizzy's marriage proposal. At some point in the coming days or seasons, they will have their marriage ceremony and invite all the colonists. Consider placing a marriage spot if you want to control where the ceremony occurs. Alright, okay, so... I was going to put the marriage spot out here, but considering the state of everything... Um, marriage spots. Marriage. We'll put it right there. In fact, while we're here, let's put this party spot right there. There we go. That'll do for now. We we'll just have to keep an eye on that. How much of this we've we got left? A little bit there. That I think is actually worth. Andy. You're unrestricted for a minute, you come and get this stuff as well. Chris is on a fire starting spree. Oh, great. She's 
busy getting here. There we go. Right, we're just going to have to follow Chris around and put the fires out. Until he's done. This is not much you can do here. Not much you can set fire to. Uh, it's not being very well. Hiroshi, are you following Shitty? Yes, your master is now. You've been trained. How oh, nice. So, let's get you trained in hauling, I think. There we go. Alright, uh, Shitty. You keep an eye on Chris. Like I said, he just put the fires out as he starts them. If you set fire to Hiroshi, Chris, you're in so much trouble. Consider yourself warned. Are you done? I think you're done. Excellent, Shizzy. Right, back to work. Alright, what else do we need in here? Nothing, I, th I think. Actually, yeah. Same in here, I think. We have a plant pot. We've already got a plant pot there. We'll have a torch there. And what state is this bed in? This is a good bed. We got that one there. And that could be Wendy's room. And finally, plant pot. Let's get some more beds built. That and finally another equipment rack as a wardrobe. There we go. Right. That's everybody's health. Initial is not a problem. So far everybody's alright, good. And she's out. Uh, bad Ninety percent. You are actually pretty good. Your shooting like these days. Your, your shooting is reasonable. Oh, thank goodness for that. I do apologise for the sounds in the background. There are I'm in a shared house these days and it sounds like somebody's going to bed. Which is probably a good time for me to stop recording. start thinking about defenses I think so we've got the sculptor's table in here we need a stone cutter's table we'll make it out of wood we've got more wood than anything else and once that's built in fact let's hurry that along Wendy what are you doing let's get this built quickly would you what do we need material what materials do we need for that We've got no wood left. Okay, let's get some wood. There we 
go. While I'm at it, I think we're going to get another wooded area cut uh, here. So, Brazos. That should be big enough. And in here, we're going to plant pine trees. Fellowship's Hill are visiting the economy. Excellent. Welcome, guys. Welcome, one and all. Jumpy! Hello, Jumpy. Right, who's our, our warden? So that's Haley. When you wake up, you can do some trading for us. Where are you guys going to settle down? Out of here, is it? Okay, so oh yes, that's our, that's our medical bed now. There we go. Haley. Let's get some trading done. Okay, what can we do? Well, we'd sell those pistols, they're no good. We're not selling our component. That can go though. We'll never use these dead men's clothes. And we can actually make a bit of money out of those, so that's good. We'll sell off those mules. So that gives us a bit of cash. Is there anything we actually want to buy? Ooh, medicine. Yes, we want medicine. Oh, brilliant. Hayley, I'll get that hold. Oh, that's good. Okay. That was entirely worthwhile. Still low medicine, though. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ah, they've got this built bills. Make stone blocks. Do forever. But let's limit the rain. Oh no, loud craft is good. It's fine. there we go right so it will do that's it as an instruction to do and turn every single stone block in that range into bricks and once we start doing that who's our crafter nobody really might need to work on that I think we'll get some work done that Wendy though actually I think Wendy let's do something here for now um, you normally have three but let's make that one let's get as many stone bricks cut as we can during the winter Get that one sorted. There we go. Which means we can start thinking about defenses and the walls 
and the ways of killing the bad guys. Oh, and we're losing trees because of the poison. Okay. So, I think we will... Um, let's just do it, shall we? So... I'm going to have a granite wall here. Like that. And down here we'll have something a little bit more sophisticated, so... Mind that. And then we have walls coming down here like this. Like that. Cancel that one for a second. Okay, and sandbags to force people to come in that way. And down here. Minor defensive area like that. Security. Sandbags in front of it. And leave that one there for now. Okay, so what we'll have is we'll have people hiding behind the walls here, shooting up at people as they're coming down. And so. We're going to want this area out like that. Okay, there we go. And a couple of doors there. And we'll roof over. Roof over here. So our guys are in darkness, which means it's going to be easier for them to shoot up there than it is for people to shoot down into this dark area here. I think that will do us for a start. And how are you doing, Mashito? Mm. You're right, you'll do for now. Recruitment distance, oh, okay, do you know what? Off you go. Who are you with? What faction are you with? You're a pirate, okay, that's not going to give us so much of an advantage, but it's going to give us some. So, let's get some food on. Okay, so we want 20 of those. Let's release up some of this pemmican. That allow people to eat. And let's go and find something to hunt. Starting to look like everything has died off because of the poison, most likely. Oh, what have we got here? Let's get that. There we go. That it looks like we are starting to get reliant on the the pemmican because of the poison. Uh, so, as that was unsurprising. What's everybody doing health wise? Uh, 
Okay, so it looks like we're going to need to start restricting people. Uh, Chris, Andy, Shizzy, and Wendy. Those guys are feeding on well. Animals are still restricted. Yes, they are. Excellent. All right. That'll do us for now.